Hey guys, it's Jay Snow. Let me open up my notes. <laughs> Otherwise known as micro shit. Uh, what do you call it? It's Jay Snow and it's E3 time. Oh boy. At time every year where the public is left out in the cold and we get to watch rich people watch video games that we hate or love. So let's start talking Xbox conference. So I'm going to start with one thing. Connect. No connect. <laughs> all gone all right so that was a good choice no connect so that's good uh, I can't seem to get this damn notepad all right here we go so uh, the, the twitch stream I don't know what happened with twitch but I can't seem to watch on twitch so hopefully the EA conference that's coming up comes up uh, smoothly on some of the channel but they start off with Call of Duty uh, <laughs> it's like why would you start off with that I, I did like the grenades like they threw some grenades and they like went flying around and killing people and shit but I mean, it's just Call of Duty, nothing to talk about. Horizon 2 Forza, so people are getting more Forza. That's always, I guess, a good thing. Evolve, that was weird. It was like Left 4 Dead. It was made by the people with the Left 4 Dead, so I, I'm guessing Valve. They, I, I didn't see Valve anywhere, but uh, maybe I wasn't paying attention. So it's like Left 4 Dead with aliens. Aliens. I said aliens. So that's pretty interesting. More, I put more, like if you see these notes, it's like retarded. I put more Ass Creed. So, more Assassin's Creed. I did notice the engine holds a lot of people. Like, they were showing, like, a big crowd of people. But otherwise, it looks like more of the same. There's going to be co-op. But, I mean, if it's going to be if it's gonna be that one-button-press combo win kind of game, I, I don't think it's going to go too well. Dragon's Age Inquisition. I don't know if the last one sucked. I don't play Dragon Age, so no comment. Sunset Overdrive looked kind of fun. Kind of weird. Reminded me of the, what do you call it, Jet Set Radio a little bit. Uh, unless it was the same guy, I have no idea. Uh, Ultra Dead Rising something something, I didn't even write it down. That looked like a lot of fun. It was like a bunch of Capcom characters getting together and killing zombies. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and it's funny how they made fun of like the Ultimate Street Fighter and the Ultra Street Fighter. How they have so many Ultimate Ultras, all this crazy stuff. Uh, Fantasia Music, very, very weird. Wasn't expecting that. Dance Central, thank God they didn't do no Neo Dance or whatever the hell they had last year. I mean, they got a lot of they got a lot right this conference, but I doubt they're gonna beat Sony. But you know, no more dancing, thank God. Fable Legends, nobody's gonna give a fuck until it actually comes out. <laughs> At least we didn't see that Peter Modigu guy, whatever his name is. I don't know if he left, but you know, it's just like nobody has any faith in Fable at the moment. <laughs> Project Spark Dungeon Creator, that was pretty interesting. It's like you create your own little dungeon or whatever, and you fight through it. So that looks like a lot of fun. Halo 5, uh, I didn't really care about that, but the Halo Collection, now they didn't say if there's multiplayer in every Halo, that's what kind of annoyed me, it's like, okay, we get Halo 2 multiplayer, but what about the rest? Because, I mean, that seems like an awesome thing, plus you get the Halo Night line, or whatever the hell it was called, so you get the Halo 2 with the HD graphics with the multiplayer, so that should be pretty interesting, I would almost buy that, but chances of me getting an Xbox One are really low. Rise of the Tomb Raider. People really wanted this and they weren't sure because I had lackluster sales, but they get their Tomb Raider, so that's good. Probably have to get that game next Steam sale. Same thing with the next one, Witcher 3. I want to get Witcher 2. I gotta play that shit. I haven't played it. Witcher 3 looks pretty damn good, so that should be pretty interesting. Phantom Dust is a reboot of an old Xbox series. It's Somebody mentioned card game. I don't know if it's a card game, but we'll see what happens. Tom Clancy Division. I mean, this game looks better every time I see it. It's definitely a game I would definitely buy. I mean, we'll have to see the reviews and stuff, but I'm definitely interested in Tom Clancy Division. Even though it's kind of stupid, like the roleplay, they're like, Oh my god, get down! <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Like, they're acting so serious. It's so stupid. <laughs> Scalebound. I thought it was Devil May Cry with Dragons for a second. Freaking Scalebound. I don't even know what to say to that game. We'll have to see gameplay, but I, I don't even know. Crackdown. I don't even know if this game was really needed. I heard the second one sucked, so who knows. Uh, next, uh, I think that's it. Crackdown. I have something that says Tomb R, but I'm guessing I was trying to type Tomb Raider. So, I mean, overall, if I had to rate the Xbox conference, I guess I would just give it a C plus or a B minus. Like, they got rid of... I mean, the games were pretty lackluster, but they got rid of Connect. There was no dance-off with Dance Central. And they showed Witcher 3 and Tom Clancy Division, which I think were the most interesting games to me, and the Halo Collection as far as that. So, I mean, we'll have to see what PlayStation, EA, and 
What is it? Ubisoft. God, is Ubisoft having a conference? Oh, that's gonna suck. <laughs> With the Watch Dogs and everything. We'll see. But imagine they announced Watch Dogs 2 already. I can already see that happening. So, C plus to B minus. So, I'll be uploading more vlogs of all the conferences as they come. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in, in probably an hour. <laughs>